that yes the other concerns are close to housing and being a home for the elderly which is a high probability to have dementia and uh, where i work we've got quite a few residents who shout out cry out and make a lot of noise now that will be distressing for people living in the area close by if there's building goes out close to the other houses and the other thing is the transport ideas that they have to encourage people to use bicycles buses and things it's a fantastic idea but with 23 parking spaces and two disabled for a 64 bed home when you've got care assistants who probably do a 12 hour shift and be too tired to cycle any distance or wait at a bus stop um, it's not going to work. People will drive no matter what at this stage. And then also you've got residents there who would have spouses coming to visit who would also be elderly, so they will be driving to visit. The parking is not adequate at all. I think it needs to be double at least for that. Yes, thank you. Um... If I can just add something to that, I did see there on the travel plan, it says that the expected travel plans are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. There will be eight staff working there who will have used five cars yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> then, then from 5 p.m to 8 p.m there will be six staff who will use four cars and from 10 p.m to 8 a.m there will be four staff with three cars and they also have said in the travel plan that the maximum visitor cars on site at any one time will be two. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also that there will be one service vehicle, one per day. And I would also say that the bus information is out of date because the travel plan was made, excuse me, was, is dated March 2020. Uh, Bob, you have your, Janet, can't see Janet. Yeah, 